Okay, so we talked about box and whisker plots, and we're going to talk about outliers. Outliers is a concept that shouldn't be unfamiliar to you, but maybe you haven't done it in this way. So you should kind of know what an outlier is. An outlier is a value that is numerically distant from the rest of the data. All right, what's numerically distant? Well, all that means is it's much larger or much smaller than the rest of the data. Okay, now... A lot of times you can kind of eyeball it. You can see like, hey, that number is way different than the rest of the data. But in math, we want to be specific. We want to, we don't want to just guess like one person might think it's much bigger. The other person might think it's not much bigger. So we need to have a way to find values that are outliers. Okay, so again, a value that is numerically distant, much larger or much smaller from the rest of the data. Okay. All right, so how do we find that? Well, we use this idea called fences. Fences, like the fence in a backyard, keeps your yard inside the fence. Anything outside of the fence is not your yard. Anything outside of a fence for outliers is an outlier. Anything outside the fence of your data is an outlier. I spelled outlier wrong. All right, the, so you're going to have a lower fence and an upper fence. The lower fence is the lower cutoff point. Okay, so anything lower than the lower fence is going to be an outlier. Anything outside the fence is an outlier. How do we find the lower fence? Well, we're going to take quartile 1, also the lower quartile, minus 1.5, that's 1 and a half, times IQR, times the inner quartile range. Okay, so Q1 minus 1.5 times the inner quartile range. And you have an upper fence. This is going to be your upper cutoff point. Anything bigger than the upper fence, any value that's larger than the upper fence is going to be an upper outlier. Okay. Similar formula, but we're going to use the upper quartile. Upper quartile is Q3. And instead of doing minus, we're going to do plus. Plus 1.5 times the inner quartile range. Okay. So again, anything lower than the lower fence or higher than the upper fence is going to be a outlier. Okay. It's not in the fence. It's not considered normal. All right, and then we, using outliers, we're going to make a modified box and whisker plot. Okay, modified box and whisker plots are very similar to normal box and whisker plots. They all both have the four parts, uh, but outliers are plotted special. Okay, outliers are plotted with either a star or an open circle or an open box or sometimes just a dot. Uh, but you want to make it special. And then where do your whiskers end? So do your whiskers go to your outliers? They actually don't. Your whiskers are going to end at the farthest value that's inside the fence. Okay, so you're going to kind of have what I call a new maximum or a new minimum. Okay. So whiskers end at the farthest point that's still inside the fence. All right, so we're going to use this data to create a find any outliers and create a box plot, a modified box and whisker plot. So right now there's two values here. If you know the if you're just looking at it, if you're just eyeballing it, you got a 2, that could be an outlier. You got a 73, that could be an outlier. We don't know, but we can figure it out using our new fences. Okay, we'll start with the easy ones. We've got to find the fine five number summary. The min and the max, the first and the last, highest and lowest, 2 and 73. Okay, now again, those could be outliers. We don't know yet. All right, uh, find the median. There's 13 points, so the seventh one, which is 23 is going to be the median. Q1 and Q3, okay, again, Q1 and Q3 are not here, so we're going to have to find Q1 and Q3 because they're between two points. So between 17 and 19 is obviously 18, okay, but if you couldn't do that in your head, you just do 17 plus 19 divided by 2. Same thing over here, I don't know what's between 31 and 42, so I'm going to add them together and divide by 2. Uh, 31 plus 42, and you get 36.5. Okay. So we're going to have to use the quartile. Uh, well, first we'll find the inner quartile range, Q, IQR. Q3 minus Q1, 36.5 minus 18. Remember, that's the box of your box and whisker, and that's 18.5. Okay. All right, we're going to need that value to find the fences. Okay. So lower fence. 
Remember, it's Q1 minus 1.5 times the IQR. When you do this in the calculator, you could type it exactly as you see it. If you're doing it by hand, you're going to have to do 1.5 times IQR first. All right, Q1 was 18 minus 1.5 times the inner quartile range, 18.5. Again, punch it all into your calculator as you see it in order, and you should get negative 9.75. So that's our lower cutoff point. Anything lower than that's going to be an outlier. Let's find the upper fence. Q3 plus 1.5 times the IQR, interquartile range. Q3 was 36.5. Always plus 1.5. Again, this one's plus, whereas lower fence was minus. Plus 1.5 times the 18.5 interquartile range. Okay. And this one you get 60, what is it? 64.25, terrible five, there you go. All right, so those are our fences. Any value outside of those fences, lower than the lower fence, higher than the upper fence, is an outlier, okay? So let's look at our lower outlier. All right, obviously nothing was negative, so there's no lower outlier. Why is there no lower outlier? Well, there's no values that are less than the lower fence. None of the values in our data set were lower than negative nine. None of them were negative. All right, but the upper outliers, the maximum was 73, and 73 is bigger than our upper fence, so it is an outlier. Okay. Why is it an outlier? Well, it's, again, it's bigger than the upper fence. It's outside of our fence range. Anything outside of the fences is gonna be an outlier. All right, well, if we have an outlier, that means we're gonna have a new maximum. Okay, the minimum, since there wasn't one, the new min would just be their old, old min. It's the same thing. But the new max is the highest point that's out inside the fence. So that 73 is out. The new highest point is 46. Okay. Now let's make a modified box and whisker plot. Okay. Uh, Data-wise, I'm going to go start at zero and go by tens. I think we only have to go up to 80. Okay. So each one of these marks is 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Okay. All right, and we're going to plot. start with the outlier. The outlier is 73. Again, this is just rough, nothing exact. 73 is about there, so we're going to put a star. All right. And then graph the rest of your number summary. You got a min of 2. Quartile 1 was at 18. Okay, again, this is just a rough, rough box and whisker. Median was at 23. Q3 was at 36 and a half. And then your new maximum is 46. Okay. Now create the box and whisker from there. So put the lines at the quartiles and the median to create your box. And then connect your whiskers to the new max and the new min. Okay. Now one thing that you can do, and you'll see this sometimes, is some people like to graph the fences. Okay. So we graph fences with parentheses. So we can put a parenthesis at negative 9.75, and you can put a parenthesis at 64.25, and that just represents the fences. So again, anything outside that fence was an outlier. Anything inside is fine. Okay. So that is a modified box and whisker, and that was how to find outliers using upper and lower fences. So again, the key to this is those formulas. Q1 minus 1.5 times the inner quartile range for the lower fence. Anything lower than the lower fence is an outlier. Q3 plus 1.5 times the inner quartile range is the upper fence. Anything bigger than that upper fence, anything outside of these fences are outliers.